Hello everyone, my name is Jordan and welcome to my channel. Today I'm making the first episode of the series of House Slipper. If you would like to follow this series, hit that subscription button and don't forget to also hit that bell icon to get notifications of new uploads. So, I think I've said enough, so how about we get into this? Okay, so we start out here. It says, hello, welcome to House Slipper. This game will allow you to buy, renovate, and decorate, and sell houses. For now, however, you need to be content with this shack that you call, can call your office and the laptop that is your command center. We live in a shack? Oh. And it's dark. Okay, do we have a flashlight somewhere? Jump, you can jump. F? Okay, we have a flashlight. Uh, dispose, right click? Yep, there we go. Um... Okay, so we live in this neighborhood, but we live in a shack. I wonder how pissed the neighbors are. Okay, dispose, dispose, dispose. How about we walk around it, see what we're working with? Okay, that is really nasty. Alright, well I guess we're just going to have to work our way up. Maybe get into a better house or a better office. Oh my god. Oh my lord. Okay, so our office isn't very big. And it's really dirty. We literally have a dresser for a kitchen. Nice. Good work takes hard work. Oh, well, I guess that speaks truth. Work means victory. Not in my experience, it doesn't. Okay, uh, your laptop. The laptop will allow you to find jobs, buy houses, and switch between them. You cannot afford to buy a house yet, but it looks like you already have your first email. Uh, okay. So I guess we'll log on to our computer. Ex-boyfriend stole radiator from my house. From Sarah Lewis. Hello. I'd like to hire your company to put my house in order. I know from photos posted on Face Spam. Is that an off brand Facebook? That my ex boyfriend broke into my house, made a huge mess, and stole the radiator. Out of everything you can steal in a house, why would you steal a radiator? It is possible that something else is missing. Please make order in the house and replace the missing devices. I would ask you not to inform the police about the whole matter. I will settle it myself with my ex-boyfriend after returning from a business trip. Regards, Sarah Lewis. Well, Sarah, by the way you said that, it looks like you're going to also be um, serving a jail term when you get back from, or when he gets back from his business trip. So I guess let's accept this and get into it. Congratulations, you have unlocked a new tool. From now on, you will be able to clean dirty stuff by using this mop. Uh, oh, uh, clean. S this is the mop we get. Looks more like a broom than a mop, but... Uh, flashlight off. Okay. Open up. Oh, lord. Okay, so we'll clean this stuff up. Now, did he bring all these boxes in here, or was her house just this dirty to begin with? Because, I mean, I don't understand why he would bring all these dirty, messed up boxes into her house. And did he seriously go to the bathroom on this woman's bed? Because if her bed was literally this dirty before her boyfriend walked in, she has bigger problems to deal with. More trash? Trash, trash. Trash. Tr what is this? I, nope. Oh, okay. Hold and switch to clean. With our 50 cent mop, scrub away this dirt. Are 
Are you gonna clean the dirt or? Okay. Okay, this doesn't even look like dirt. This looks like blood. Okay. Well, Sarah, I'm pretty sure someone got murdered in your home, but uh, that's a topic, uh, yeah. You are improving. Turn on the tablet to choose what you want to spend the new skill point you got. So let's hit tab, open up our tablet, and it looks like we got an upgrade in our cleaning capabilities. So see some dirt on minimap, 25% faster cleaning, or a good mop. Um, well, I don't want to have to look at this freaking straw mop for the next however long. So how about we upgrade long range to the good mop? Okay, well, it's more mop-like. Dirt here, dirt here. Oh my god. Okay, so we have 100% of the trash removed and only 86% of the dirt. So let's find the rest of this dirt before we move on to anything else. 86 still. Oh, we got some over here. 86. 100% of the dirt cleaned. Um, this kitchen looks pretty messed up, so how about we move some stuff around for her, get it looking nice and tidy again. Put this chair up, move it there. Move this table out. Uh, scroll to rotate. So let's rotate this table a little bit. Put it back in. That looks good. Can we pick up this vase? Hold the pickup. Okay, we can. Let's put uh, put this by a TV right here. That vase just doesn't look like something that would be on a kitchen table. This still doesn't look straight to me. But it's sitting pretty flush against the wall, so I'm not going to mess with it too much. Spin this chair around. That chair there. Spin this chair around. Put that there. There. Why is it open? Close. Okay. Okay, that's just going to bother me. Can we put it on the stove? Yes, we can. Mount devices. Now from the tablet at your disposal, press tab to show or hide it. It will allow you to buy things which can be useful in this job. So I'm guessing this is going to be a radiator tie-in. You can buy a radiator mount here. Okay, so that's what it is. So let's go to our store. Uh, okay, I'm not going to scroll through all that. Uh, click to search item. Uh, radiator. Uh, so we got a regular radiator, a mountable big radiator, and a towel mountable radiator. Uh, we'll just go with the regular one. Uh, scroll and rotate. Press to pay in place. Assemble. Oh, okay. So I guess we're going to assemble this. Okay, so you got to drag it all the way down first. Screw in the nuts and twist the opening. Okay, um, three out of three tasks done in the living room with kitchenette. Um, task in other room. She wants us to I remove the trash. Now she wants us to clean the dirt. So I guess we'll clean the poop stains off of her bed and the blood stains off the floor. And I guess that was a hundred percent of the dirt. So we're done in that room. Okay, so you know what just this bathroom just reminded me of? Uh, Daddy's daycare, where the kid walks out and goes, I missed. And he literally looks at the kid and goes, what do you mean you missed? What does that mean? And he goes, I missed. 
and then he walks into the room and it looks like the worst thing that he's ever seen in his life. Yeah, that's what this bathroom pretty much looks to me right now. Um, yeah, so apparently someone did miss. Clean, clean, 100 pro, okay, this table's gonna bother me. Pick that up. Uh, how about we put it over here? Underneath the towels. Nope. Right there. And that's all task completed. So clean, clean, clean. So what do we do? Do we just leave? No. Tab? We get out of the job. Uh, maybe enter? Oh, okay. Uh, you have done 100% of your order. You may now complete the order for $785.39. Are you sure you want to complete the order? So you're telling me I had to clean up poop stains from all over your house and you're only paying me $785? Well, I mean, it only took us maybe two hours to do the job, so... Well, in-game time, it probably took me five minutes to do it in real life time, but... Uh, okay. Uh, complete. This game takes so long to load. Okay, so we're back at our miniature office in this wonderful neighborhood until you look at my shack. So... This house is dirty, but I'm not going to take the time to clean it because I don't plan to be here that long. Let me see the... Okay, no. Um, can we go for another job? Cleaning the garage or radiators? I will pay you if I am fully satisfied or you get nothing. Winter is coming, the winters are hard, and there are no radiators in my house. Mount them. Short but blunt. Short and blunt, but, um, I mean, I guess it's pretty to the point, so... We'll accept this job. And apparently if this man isn't completely satisfied, um, we're not getting paid anything, so let's... Yeah. Okay, so we walk in, and in this room there are no tasks. But in the other rooms we have to mount four devices, so... On our minimap we can see up there there's a red mark that looks kind of like a radiator. So... And we have to mount one device in this room. Well, it's already popped up, so mount. Assemble this again, so we pull this down. Screw these nuts on. Pull this one down. Spin the nuts on. Twist the handle. And yeah. No more other tasks, no other tasks in this room, so let's leave this room. Go into this room. No tasks in this room, radiators are... Wait. He said there was no radiators installed in his house, but I walk into his kitchen and there's a radiator already installed. Can we charge him extra for lying? I mean, because he said if he wasn't satisfied he wasn't going to pay us anything, so since he lied... And there's another one! And this one's twice as big as all the other ones. Okay, this... Seriously? Um, so I see a red mark in this room. Yep, a radiator. So basically, if we don't... Uh, let's see, we have a skill for a handyman. So fitter, 20% faster mounting. We can do plasterer for 20% faster plastering. Or 
tiler for 20% faster tiling and paneling. So I think we're going to go with fitter since we've been mounting all these appliances. So we'll go with faster mounting. Um, go back to store. Buy a radiator. Left click to mount it. And press E to assemble. So we're going to pull this down. And there that one is. So in the next room. Ooh, tile radiator. Okay, so it's going to be the first time out in one of these. Uh, radiator, mountable big radiator, and mountable tile radiator. So we'll pick the tile radiator. Uh, we'll press the pay in place. And then E to assemble. Hold that. Screw that in. Place that on the top, screw, place that. Okay, and this one we just have to click it into place, we don't have to drag it into place. And same with that one, we just have to click it in place and not drag it. And then twist the handle like we would. And that is, from now you can finish incomplete orders by clicking. Uh, I mean, we only have to mount one more thing, so I mean, there's no point for us to um, mount devices one or two in the room. Uh, you can buy a sink mounting here, so okay. Uh, we're gonna unscrew the inlet pipes and the outlet pipe, and buy sink and mounting here. So let's go to bathroom. Um, okay, so do we want to put the nice sinks in here or just a mountable sink? Since he wants to be completely satisfied, we'll put a nicer sink in here. Uh, press to pay in place. Uh, how do we install it? It's still red. Uh, maybe open? Oh, assemble. Okay, so you got to open the front of the cabinets before you can actually assemble. So let's screw that in. If you guys are wondering what I know how to do, it's outlined in blue. Uh, just left click and hold on your mouse. And hold. Put that in there. Attach that. Hold down. And bring that over. Okay, now we're hooking up the drain. Press that in there, click, 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 hold that to screw it in, and hold that to slide it on. And a new handyman skill, click the hotkey below to provide the upgrade skill of the handyman. Okay, so let's tab, we got a handyman skill. Um, I mean, we might as well do faster mounting since we're mounting all these uh, appliances. So let's do that, and tab to get out. Um, it looks like we've completed the 100% underneath our minimum progress on the right side of the screen. So let's hit enter, and you have done 100% of the order. You may complete the order now for $813.44. So you're telling me just applying these, what, three appliances that I installed, I get paid but like a hundred dollars more than scrubbing poop. I guess complete the order. Okay, so apparently this game takes a little bit of loading for you to get back and forth. own photos and images. Have you noticed that by using the gallery tab on the tablet, you can choose any image from your hard disk. I thought it was called a hard drive, but... Okay, and use it as a poster or picture to hang on your wall. You can also use the camera tab to take photos of the game and save your works on the disk. 
Okay, well, alright. Okay. That's pretty cool to know. Maybe when I get a bigger, nicer office or renovate this one, I can take pictures to show customers, potential customers that come in. Um, yeah, I guess we can try to pop in and do one more job. Uh, well, actually we can look at some houses. Okay, so the cheapest house we could afford right now, but we're only going to have a hundred and not even a hundred, maybe like eighty something dollars to, and that's no. Okay, so we'll exit out of that. Go back to our mail. Um, baby on the way. Amaranth walls are cleaning the garage. Um, I'm guessing amaranth walls means they want us to paint something. Bonjour. I want my house to look a bit more arty. Can you please paint some of the walls in the living room, amaranth? In the remaining walls, I would like painted in a stunning gray. Oh, I almost forgot that. Can you replace the broken electrical socket? Merci. Amanda Johnson. Okay, so this is going to be our first time painting something, so... Let's go over and paint some stuff. Congratulations, you have unlocked a new tool. From now on, you will be able to paint walls with a brush. All you have to do is use the tablet to buy paint. All right, so let's go in and see where she wants us to paint. Okay, there's no task in this little room. Go into the bigger living room slash kitchen area. Mount devices. So before we paint, let's try to find this device. Not back there. Not back there. Okay, so my guess is it's Okay, so that's an induction cooktop. So the only things to plug in really are this and the refrigerator. So I'm guessing the electrical socket's going to be behind one of these. And here it is. So we'll click assemble. Take out the screw cap. Pull that out. Okay, so this is pretty much exactly like changing a real socket. Oh, and they, okay. They even make you install the wires. Okay, sweet. Um, trail these in. Okay. So let me just stop and explain to you guys really quick. Some things in this game like installing the radiators if your piping is already there is pretty much as what you see on this game but don't try to learn real life skills or handyman skills from this game um, just like you saw me just install that electrical socket it literally just had me grab the wires and place them in any of the three holes in the back of the socket. Okay, if you try to do that in real life, it's not going to work, and if you don't do it correctly, like shutting off your breakers in your basement or shutting off the power supply to these, you can electrocute and cause serious harm and injury or even death to yourself. So my recommendation is either call a professional or learn from a professional. Don't take this game as being correct and whole because it is definitely not. But uh, just, yeah, that little tip. Oh, and if you're wondering how I know so much, I do this kind of work in real life. Uh, not professionally, but I've learned from a lot of professionals how to do a lot of stuff like electrical, installing appliances, painting, drywall work, etc. So, I mean, if you have any uh, questions or topics you want me to talk about, just leave them down in the uh, comment section below and... Either I'll talk about them in a video, or if you want me to talk about it in a video, or just answer you in the comment section, I'll do that too. Okay, so it says paint with colors Amarith and it, Amarith Adventure in gray. So, oh, um, we got an upgraded negotiation. So we have option to negotiate the price. So I'm guessing from my last two jobs that we're not going to be able to no negotiate the price on jobs that we do like this that's going to become later when we're actually flipping houses and selling them 
Then we have quick orders, which is percentages off the order requirements. Or we have higher payment, which is extra payment for order. Considering I'm trying to get cash quickly right now to start flipping houses, I'm going to take the higher payment. Um, I'm going to go to the store. She said she wanted um, Amarith Adventure in Grey. So, um, I have go to all. I'm just going to search the items. Okay, there's Amarith Adventure. It's like a really... That's more between a pink pastel or a pink color and a red color. I mean, not my color, but the customers want what they want, right? And then a gray. Uh, gray. Nope, she said she just wanted regular gray. So we'll get the gray. Okay, and we'll go to our wheel here and select the paint. Okay, they said I got a brush, but they gave me a roller. Okay, I'm not gonna argue over the little details. Um, so I'm trying to figure out how I want to divide this. If I paint one wall the pink color, it will make the room look like it's bigger. So I will actually, I don't want to like scare people from coming in this room, like walking in and then, what the f Okay, okay. I don't want people to like to walk in and the first thing they see is a bright pink wall. That's just... So, I think I'm going to leave the pink wall for this wall. And then I'm going to paint every other wall gray. And what that's going to do is, with the bright wall being on this, it's not going to actually expand the room. But it will make it so your eye visually sees... Or tricks your eyes to think that this room is bigger than it actually is. Um, and considering this room is shorter in this direction, I tend to try to paint this wall or this wall, the shorter distance walls, the brighter color, and all the other walls. But um, like I said, I'm not trying to scare people out of this house. Or I don't want the customer to scare people. Okay. So. Okay, so you just walk up and hold on the left click button. And you have a little, like, loading wheel. But it actually looks, if you hold it down too long, you'll just continually paint over the same spot. And actually waste money on paint because you're just going to be painting over the same spot. And once you get to the color that the paint's actually supposed to be, it doesn't get any darker. So let the wheel go around, stop. Around, stop. Okay. And then you just, um, you left click and hold over the paint bucket to uh, load up your roller. And of course we'd run out of paint. See, now I'm standing in the same spot I was before. This wall actually looks a little bit further than it did before. It's not that it actually is further, but the bright colors. See, now I look at this wall, and it doesn't look the same distance. But I come over here, and that wall seems farther away than if I stand over here, which is the same distance, and look at that wall. But like I said, I'm not going to paint this wall, this adventure, Amareth, because I don't want to scare people that are walking through the front door. So we'll paint the rest of this gray. Oh, 
Oh, well, that's so dark. Uh, new painting skill available. So we can go basic painting. You won't waste any paint on an already painted space. Okay, so that takes care of uh, the problem I just explained. Um, where if you hold too long, you start wasting paint on a space that you already painted. So that would be useful. 25% um, faster painting. That would also be useful, but I can take a little bit more time and paint and then not waste money by picking you won't waste paint on already painted wall um, or paint two walls at the same time. Again, with the same thing with instant painting, um, painting the same wall or two walls at the same time. And by walls, they mean one wall, two wall, like this, the two little spaces you get with that your roller travels on, like this, that's one wall, that's two wall, not one whole wall, two whole wall. They don't, that's not what they mean. And, um... So this is the same thing as this. I'm not going to waste a skill point on something that's going to make me do it faster, but make me waste more money for holding down too long. So what I'll do is I'll do that one. And 73 painted walls. I'll probably have another per point anyway by the time we finish this room. So, I mean, I can still upgrade one of the other ones. Oh, okay. We can paint the inside. Oh, you can paint. Okay. So there's this little trim piece. I don't know if it's going to count for it, though, that sits on the outside of the wall. That's pretty cool that I just figured it out, but there's this little trim piece right here. See, because you, like, okay, look at this side. You see that you have the one right here, but you see how it's not all the way to the window seal. But if you drag it over, there's another one over here that you can paint also. And I'm going to run out of paint. Yep. Refill paint. Oh, okay. So this, these up here, you actually don't have to paint by the window seal. It does it in one big square. Oh. Seriously, that's small of a space to paint. Okay, so you're telling me that this you can do from the top the, from the ceiling to the floor. These you can do from the bottom of the window seal, the top of the window seal. These have this big a thing, a big a square to paint, and then these are just this. That is going to irritate me. And I do not think there's a skill point for that. Okay, so we can actually paint these standing on the floor. I did not know that, or else I wouldn't have found the person's counter, but... Okay, cool, so we don't have to move furniture out either to paint, so that's good. So we'll get this all painted. And another thing I've noticed about this game, which, let me go into the settings right now and see. Um, the sensitivity is really high. And I know a lot of people don't like really high sensitivity when playing video games. So that's one thing that I would um, look at for you guys. If you guys are that don't like a lot of sensitivity. Um, feel the depth, grain, fog. Um, not any of that. Control. Mo there we go. Here's the sensitivity. You can also invert your mouse. Um, I'm going to drop that down to like 6.5. Okay, 6.6 6 works. So let's go back to the game. Yeah, that's a little bit better. And also what's cool... Um, if you watch, like right now, see how skinny my roller is? Watch it when I fill it with paint. How bigger in diameter it gets around. And if I paint, you can watch it slowly go down in diameter, meaning that you need more paint on your roller. 
see how it got smaller from the first time I used it. And see, now it's back in a small radius, and um, yeah. Go refill. Get this. Get that. I'm happy that this house is just painting and not cleaning poop off of sofas or in bathrooms and um, cleaning trash because this is kind of a nice change of pace. And now we gotta paint these little squares. And see, after that update it won't let me paint already painted surfaces. That's gonna save us from having to buy extra gallons of paints on jobs. Oh. So hopefully the faster painting and being able to paint more walls at once speeds up this process because this takes forever. And it's not that I'm in a hurry, it's just it'd be nice to be able to uh, paint things a little bit faster. Because time is money. And, well, I know this is a video game, but, I mean, the more time we spend painting slowly like this is the less of the time we can be painting something else for more money. Ran out of paint. And you can always tell when something's not fully painted because it will be an off shade. Like you can see this, this is, well this is gray but it looks almost black. And then you'd have what we'd naturally think gray. So we know we have to go over this spot again. And then it'll be the rest of the color of the wall. And I know if I don't paint this right now I'm going to forget it because I almost did over there behind the kitchenette underneath that window. And then I'd be running around trying to figure out why my percentage isn't at 100 when I'm done. So um, hold and switch to dispose. Left click to dispose. Okay, so it looks like we're going to need another gray. Which is already on my screen. Paint these little small spaces. See, new painting skill. 25% uh, faster painting or painting two walls at the same time. Well, painting two walls at the same time would be a 50% increase because you're doing two for one instead of a quarter increase by just painting 25% faster. So let's go with the paint more. Um, and hold and drag. No. Drag. Okay. So what you do is you click and start painting on one and drag it to the next panel and it'll automatically start painting both panels at the same time. So as you can see right here, I'm holding on that and moving my cursor over to this one. And you'll see that it's highlighted on one wall as they call it. So start painting and slide it to the next one. And you see how that square doubles in size for the two different walls. Same here, hold, drag. And then one, just, okay, of course I would run out of paint on the one piece I got to finish. There we go. And I might as well just refill my roller before I start on this wall, even though it's pretty much already full. Okay, so hold, drag. Hold, drag. Then we'll just continue this process. And I ran out of paint again. Hold, drag. I know this video is getting up there in time, so I appreciate the the viewers and you guys that have stayed around this long. Um, after this do after this one job, I'll probably be finished. And um, yeah, 
And as I said again, this is going to be a very big series. Um, like all these little jobs. Okay, she also wants us to mount a device in another room. So we're going to go over there. Um, apparently we can't do anything with the paint. So I guess we're just going to leave it here for her for extra paint for touch up. Okay, so what other room? Let's look for the red. Okay, so I see a little red piece in this room. So it's going to be somewhere in here. Uh, but like I was saying, um, this is going to be a, a big series. It's going to be a multi-part series. So um, don't think I'm just going to make one video and then walk away. I'm going to at least try to get one upload a day to you guys. Um, I'm probably not going to play this game unless I'm recording a video for you guys. So don't think you're going to miss anything. Um, and you guys are just going to get a raw footage. I'm not going to edit anything. You guys are going to be walking through the gameplay with me. I'm not going to edit. I'm not going to cut things out. It's just going to be raw footage from the gameplay. Me commenting over it. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to walk through the different jobs with you guys, um, walk through the different houses because I'm sure everybody probably gets the same houses. The houses aren't randomized for every single person that plays this game. So I'm pretty sure there's probably some, um, that you get the same houses as other players do. So, um, each, each different house, each, each different job I'll do on each of my videos. As you saw, I did uh, multiple jobs in this video. Um, if I have the time and you guys are willing to watch it, I'll have no problem doing multiple things in a video. Um, I don't know how long remodeling a whole house takes, but um, I'll at least try to complete what I'm doing when I start in a video in the same video. I won't try to drag it out multiple videos long. Um, so how about we complete this job? And I have completed 100% of the order. You may complete the order for $1,234.19. So let's go ahead and complete this. But, um, yeah, so just, um, like I said, I'm going to try to get an upload daily to you guys with different content from this game. Like I said, I'm going to try to show you every single job, every single house. Once I'm able to get a house, once I'm able to buy and start remodeling houses, I'm going to do whole job videos. I'm going to or whole job renovation or whole renovation videos of houses and all that stuff so I mean that's pretty much it for this video guys um, like I said if you want to see more stuff like this hit the subscribe button if you like what you've seen in this video hit the like button if you do subscribe, don't forget to hit the notification bell to notify you the next time I upload a video. And if I haven't shown or you want to see something else, whether it's entitled to this game or if you'd like me to or if you'd like me to play another game and upload video gameplay footage of that, um, leave me a comment in the comment section. And I mean. I hope you enjoyed it, and I want all you guys to have a very nice day.